If a young star were asked about the feeling of entering the court of the defending champions and scoring an impressive 43 points in a 106-99 victory in the first game of the second round, he might describe it as a decisive performance. Perhaps, if he were really confident, he would say that Saturday night marked a tectonic shift in the balance of power in the Western Conference, with the Minnesota Timberwolves taking home court advantage from the Denver Nuggets. However, Anthony Edwards is not like other young stars. He may be unique in the league's history. It's not about showing up for anyone. We know who we are, said Edwards when asked about Minnesota's advance beyond the first round of the playoffs for the first time in two decades. We're here to play, and as long as we're united, it doesn't matter what others think. Edwards joked that he might not have been born when Kevin Garnett and the Wolves beat the Sacramento Kings in the second round in 2004, reaching the franchise's only conference finals appearance. Regardless of past playoff challenges, the current team is experiencing a great moment. With a 5-0 playoff campaign, including a sweep over the Phoenix Suns in the first round, Edwards joins Kobe Bryant as the only other player in NBA playoff history with consecutive 40-point performances at 22 years old or younger, according to research from ESPN Stats and Information. In the last three playoff games, Edwards scored 119 points, setting a record for a Wolves player over a three-game span in the team's postseason history. His performance on Saturday surpassed that of the current NBA Finals MVP and one of the three regular season MVP finalists, Nikola Jokic. Jokic acknowledged Edwards' talent, stating, To be honest, he's a special player, I have tremendous respect for him, he can do everything on the court. You have to respect how good and talented he is. Jokic finished the game with 32 points, 9 assists, 8 rebounds, and 3 steals, but only made 11 of 25 field goal attempts, 2 of 9 from 3-point range, and had the game's highest number of turnovers, with 7. When asked how he could improve against the Wolves' front line, composed of Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, and Nas Reed in Game 2, Jokic joked that he would need a duplicate clone of myself. On the other hand, Edwards had a performance of 17 hits in 29 attempts, with 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 2 blocks, and only 1 turnover. Notably, he made 7 of 10 heavily contested shots in Game 1, according to Second Spectrum. This postseason, he is shooting 53% on heavily contested shots, the best in the NBA. Despite the difference in production between the two stars, Edwards still gave credit to the opponent, while attributing the result to his team's effort. Facing the best player in the world is always fun, facing the best team in the world is always fun, said Edwards. Our guys came out and competed tonight. So, it's not about me personally, it's about my team. They also give me confidence. Edwards started the match impeccably, hitting 5 out of 5 shots during the Wolves' 18-4 run in the first 7 minutes. The Nuggets reacted and managed a 44-40 lead by halftime, limiting the other Wolves players to just 22.2% shooting. In the third quarter, the Wolves regained the lead while Edwards modestly declared that he did nothing and was just running back and forth, while Towns and Conley shone with their perfect scores. The last quarter was dominated by Edwards and Reed, the NBA's sixth man of the year. Edwards, who had not scored in the last quarter in the regular season losses to Denver, scored 12 points efficiently. Reed contributed 14 points in the quarter, including a sequence of 10 consecutive points, securing the victory. Reed praised Edwards, stating that he is a rising superstar and an amazing person off the court. With the number 11 highlighted on the whiteboard of the visiting locker room, the Wolves show their determination to pursue the team's first title this spring. Gobert also commented on Edwards' continuous growth, highlighting his maturity in every game and the pleasure of being part of this journey.